box for the RIP tour, we get the valet parking. <laughs>
You know, we knew we were getting a lot of perks. We didn't know we were getting this perk. This is the perk, the crow. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Thank you. Hey, what's up, man? joining you on this trolley this evening. For my girl, this is my buddy Chris. Everyone say what's up, Chris. What's, what's up, Chris? Chris? Not much. <laughs> now, Chris is cool and all. That's right. I'm cool. But neither of us are as cool as the true VIP aboard this vehicle this evening. That is our driver, Jade, everybody. Give it up for Jade. Yeah. Yeah. Have you guys ever seen the Fast and Furious franchise? Yeah. Yeah. It was written about Jade. What? Oh, no. Okay, now this is privileged information. <laughs> don't go spreading it around. We don't want Jade uh, out in here, but uh, yeah, it's all written on him. <laughs> but now, uh, you guys, we are about to head out to our first couple of houses for the evening here. We're making our way over to a little area called the H Lot. H Lot is just a parking lot that exists behind the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. <laughs> And that's where our first two houses are located. Jade's going to save us a bit of walk in here to deliver us over there. 
So our first two houses of the evening are Chucky Ultimate Kill Count. Do we have any Chucky fans? Woo! All right. And then our second house of the evening is our Universal Monsters Unmasked. Do we have any monster fans? Woo! All right. Now you guys, you're about to come face to face with the Phantom of the Opera, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. The Hunchback of Notre Dame, not the Disney version, ours, the best period. And the Invisible Man, keep an eye out, I hear he's hard to spot. Alright guys, now if you started your day with Chris, you're going to follow Chris into H-Lot, my group, you'll follow me. Chucky, and I'm your friend till the end. We're going to do the terror trap. I'm afraid that is out of the question. What? Why? Had you bothered to check in with our self-serve employee info kiosks when you oh, popped yeah. in this evening, you would know that that area <laughs> yeah. is under a chartreuse level threat assessment a and off limits to employees and the public. Wait, what is a chartreuse level threat assessment? <laughs> our data suggests that the color red panics it? people. Wow. Look. Those are very old structures. They are riddled with termites, infested with vermin. Why, the whole place is crawling with bugs. <laughs> are you tired of humans? Are you sick of being stepped on, squashed, swatted, and sprayed? Then call the exterminators, the number one name in human pest control. Our helpful and discreet operators are standing by 24-7 to answer all your human pest needs. Have you got cantankerous Karens, hostile haters, entitled teens, or irritating influencers? Then call the exterminators today and make your human problems go away. Hi, I'm Larry Larva. Hi, Larry. Did you know 90% of all life forms on this planet are insects? We outnumber humans a billion to one. Well, that's not reassuring. But well, let's go check it out. I'm in, in, interested in this product. <laughs> All right, guys, Chris's group. You can follow Chris off of the trolley here. 
That's a vibe right there. I have to pay my way to college. Not good.
I'm not gonna stop that. He might shower. <laughs> I was just kidding. I was just telling all of my bunnies that you're safe. No harm is going to come to you. But I'm not really so good, I guess, with my magic after all. But I've got a better idea instead. How about a picture time? So that way we can capture this magical moment forever. Johnny, would you like that? I'll even let you hold my balloon. Aww. Oh. Hold on tight, don't let it fly. There you go. And smile for the camera. Don't stop smiling. Oh. <laughs> Is <laughs> oh, that was a wonderful moment, Joey. Thank you so much for sharing. Next, anyway. Now, hop, 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 hop away. That's, that's my little one. <laughs> oh, would you like that? Oh, oh, look at you. Look at you. Can I go one group at a time? If you want to get a photo, you can hand your camera to me or Chris here. I'll help you out. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Did you know that? Thank you. Okay, cool. Thank you. And, oh, and I love that laugh too. Because I feel like we're such a I'm not sure if that's a one wide. You last time you've ever had a balloon? Like a couple months ago. She is very much a little kid at heart. I love her. Like that. It's so cute, my little buddy. Look here. I'm not telling the grabber what to do. <laughs> he knows. Right. We're fans of the He's grabber. learned the hard way. We're fans of the grabber. Oh, very much I'm, are. I'm completely very much. Right. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank my you. Funny. Hop, hop, hop away. Oh yeah. Be safe. Be as of this lot. There's something kind of interesting to uh, point out. There's this massive blue backdrop. Now that backdrop was constructed years ago to remedy the problems they had with the earlier Jaws films where they had a mechanical shark that worked great during the testing phase, but not in the ocean. So, in subsequent Jaws movies, they could build this huge tank, held about three and a half billion gallons of water, and a backdrop, which by the way, in the movie The Truman Show with Jim Carrey, that's the end of the world. Uh, in some of the Jurassic Park films, that would be the backdrop. In, uh, uh, in some of the Pirates of the Caribbean films, they would utilize it as well use it as a blue or a green screen. One of the Spider-Man films used it. The movie Sully, that's where the airplane landed in the Hudson. It's actually right over there. And again, the camera will electronically eliminate anything that it would see in that bright blue screen or green screen, replacing it with another background. Now, as we move down, this is where it gets kind of dark. And Cassie and I were just talking about hearing your coyotes howling. Yes, you'll see bobcats in this area. This is a real wilderness area. And I know, you know, Jay, last time when we went down the dark hill that we're going to go down, would you do this this time? Shut the lights off and just full speed ahead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Last time we're driving down and Jade's like, I can't see shit. <laughs> and then we hit something. I don't know what it was, but that's all right. We just kept moving on. Yeah, don't even worry about it, right? A little bump here and there. Uh, when we head down, by the way, we have uh, we have a ton of stuff that we're going to show you, and we're only at the halfway mark right now. Um, as soon as the tram moves on, we're going to move down through the lot. I'll point out certain sets. I know it's a little dark out there, but I'm going to point out certain sets that were built, one of them for a musical, and then used in another film, the same exact set, in something really, really terrifying. Uh, we'll also drive by our Jaws attraction. Now, I mentioned the uh, issues that uh, Steven Spielberg had with the first movie, Jaws. Spielberg had convinced the studio that they could film Jaws in the ocean, and they thought he meant, yes, with the actors. They didn't realize he meant put the mechanical shark there as well. Their thought was he was going to do that on the back lot in a tank in some type of controlled environment. And he said, no, let's do it in the ocean. So they had constructed these three sharks, all named Bruce. That was the name of Steven Spielberg's lawyer, so he thought that would be kind of funny to name the sharks after his lawyer. And uh, during the testing phase, these mechanical sharks worked really well. But nobody thought about what was going to happen to hydraulics and mechanical uh, 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 components when you stuck them in salt water. And the elements of the ocean, meaning the current, it tore those sharks to pieces. And so day after day after day, they filmed absolutely nothing. What was initially a 55-day shooting schedule turned into 159 days. Quadrupling the budget, 
Spielberg again knew he would never work again and that he would be fired at any point. Two of the main actors were fighting with each other publicly. One actor went on television and told people how bad this movie was going to be, and I'm sorry I did it. I can't really tell you who that was, but it was Richard Dreyfus. And then <laughs> they looked at the footage, and there was almost no shark in the shark movie. I'll tell you what happened in a second. First, I want to point out the house on your left-hand side. Built for a musical that starred Burt Reynolds and Dolly Parton called The Best Little Horror House in Texas. Oh. Rob Zombie came out here when he was doing House of a Thousand Corpses, and he goes, that's my house. And so that is the actual house, both inside and outside, and the backyard used in House of a Thousand Corpses. All right, now, when we swing around, and Jade, I know this is a, a tough one, but if we can see our shark, we pull the shark out of the water. <clears throat> now, where you're going to look, by the way, let's see, is he out? Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. I like that. Thank you, thank you. Now, don't look at the water portion, because that's not where the shark is. All right, now. You see this bridge right there? Oh, he's up on dock. Now turn around and look where the bridge is. Standing this. right outside of that bridge. Not at the water. Let me take a picture. Of at this trail. You guys see it? Yeah. All right, so that's a 25-footer mechanical shark, just like the one in the film. That one's a lot more dependable because this is a controlled environment. Now, what's really scary about this is Jaws wasn't filmed here, but what was Murder, She Wrote. That's with Angela Lansbury, a woman who discovers a murder in a small town every single week. That's scary. <laughs> How'd that happen? Nobody suspected her. As we move through some of the creepiest areas on the lot, over on your left-hand side, are our western towns, now built in 1914. And you know what? You don't even need to believe that that's haunted. You walk through there at night, and the lumber is so old that things swing open and closed and fall apart and it's just you, you just run out of there no matter what your beliefs are. Uh, the uh, bricks there are foam rubber. You used to be able to throw the uh, Western Stars against the wall and they just bounced right up. Hey, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio did a number of scenes and some of them with Brad Pitt down there for Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. About a third of that film shot in that Western town. Now, as you watch some of these Westerns, you have no idea how close they were to Gilligan's Island. Look over on your right. It was across the street. That was also used in Creature from the Black Lagoon, one of my favorite of the horror films. Here it is as the Amazon River, and it hasn't changed hardly at all. And by the way, that looked like the Amazon, except for the California mountains in the background. Oops. Uh, coming up a little bit more uh, of our horror genre, and Universal really pushed this horror genre. That was our expertise. Starting in the 1920s, 1923, we released Hunchback of Notre Dame, then Phantom of the Opera, Dracula, Frankenstein, The Wolfman. Look on your left-hand side. That mural, painted by graffiti artist Tristan Eaton, is a tribute to each and every one of these films. And he painted that by himself using spray paint cans. And he did it in the rain, February of 2019, and it rained almost every day. So it, it's really remarkable. And you can actually buy some of that stuff up in the uh, theme park. Uh, it's uh, not only uh, part of our, our Halloween uh, merchandise, it's part of our classic uh, monster merchandise as well. On the right-hand side, the metropolitan area, you're looking at Gotham City from some of the Batman films. You're looking at New York from most of the Spider-Man movies. You're looking at uh, London in Austin Powers. Bram Stoker's Dracula. See where all the lights are? They would sing and dance in this area. In Spider-Man 2, Doc Ock chucked a car right through that cafe on the left-hand side. That's our most utilized area, by the way. And by the way, some of the Purge films, including Purge Anarchy and the final Purge, uh, that was Houston in that film. Uh, Alfred Hitchcock's The Old Office, Master of Terror and Suspense, or would look on your right-hand side. The bungalow with his silhouette, his silhouette still on the side. And that looks like a small little bungalow. When Hitchcock used that, a whole compound back there with bedrooms. There was a screening room, editing bay, writer's offices. That was a big deal. Oh, by the way, the bungalow is on the right-hand side. Steven Spielberg's offices are over here. Dwayne Johnson, his office space over on your right-hand side, Seven Bucks Entertainment. And the reason he named it that, that's how much money he had in his pocket when he started in show business. Vin Diesel's offices are coming up on the right-hand side. Now, these guys have offices not just because they're famous people, but it's also because they're producers and they have a development deal with our studio. Now, in just a moment, we are going to depart the trolley for the final time. So this time around, 
Don't leave anything on board. Take everything with you, and we'll open up that ice chest, so if you want to grab another water, please feel free to do that. But in the meantime, let's, uh, let's look over on your left. Are we looking? On your left. Let's feel really badly for all the folks waiting in line right now. <laughs> yeah, that's genuine, you guys. Nice job. Right. There you go. <laughs> that's the scary part. All right, that's it. How about a round of applause for Jade for helping us get through this? Come on, let's hear it. Jade, you are the man. Oh, more lines over there. How about a round of applause for the lines now? Ah, uh, yeah, woo! We got a bunch of them. All right, guys, take everything with you. Uh, Cassie, what a pleasure. Thank you. Hey, those of you with Cassie here are going to stick with her. Those of you with me cannot straighten me off your shoe for a long time tonight because we have a ton of stuff. We have at least four houses down at this lower level. And then upstairs, we've got a lot more, so we just scratched the surface with our two houses so far. And the terror trap, we've got so much more to go. And as we uh, depart, watch your step on this uh, drop right over here. Take water if you want. Stay with your, uh, your tour guide, and we'll close this out with some scary people. All right, thanks, Jay. Not only does she eat it, she looks like it. 
100%. That is the ex-wife right there. That's it. Ex-wives be like that, man. Ex-wives be like that.